designed this shopping website. This is a kind of simple, clean eShop website or you call this shopping website and it has got a header this nav bar and it has a kind of logo then a few links when I hover on them the color change and then there is a, a kind of highlight for the sale and here are the icons then here is a kind of banner I'm not using any, any any image because I don't have the access to the internet right now and I'm using default system phones as well I'm not using Google phones which I always use for the phones and uh, then here are some images I could have changed the names of those images instead of just repeating one image but anyway I will do that along with you and I will be recreating this website so you understand how to create this kind of layouts for your clients or maybe your portfolio or you are learning how to design the website then I can make it easy for you to understand these kind of layouts it's easy there's nothing tough happening here I'm not using bootstrap or any other uh, frame I'm just using the vanilla CSS just the plain CSS and I'll be taking the help of CSS flexbox and uh, the CSS grid so it's just simple clean and also when I click on this button the website goes this takes you to the top of the website also I'll be showing you how to create that functionality and these icons are from phone awesome I don't have the access to them but I know the name so I can use and uh, I am using using them like offline so let's start creating on my desktop or in my system I have these folder for my github repos guys if you are learning the web design web development or anything in the programming you have to use github get used to it create your account on github and download this github desktop app and create a repo start creating as many repositories on your github account because if you have a lot of repos on your account it's very good for you when you you go for a job or maybe you are showing your profile you can create your websites with the help of javascript html css and maybe react also vue i am not sure about that but you can use that it's really great and take that step start learning it as well it's easy just create the account download this app and whatever thing you create like your website it can be as simple as as anything and then you upload that to github it's just whatever I created today it's asking me to commit it's asking me to upload that to the github I give it a name whatever then I commit and then push a reason but I don't have the internet access so it will not happen with me so I'm just going to close this and on my code editor this is VS code visual studio code the best I will suggest you to use this and if you are a beginner just starting out then go to this place and add all the HTML extensions CSS things JavaScript things all those things okay just type in the HTML here and it will suggest you all the things that you can install and it will make things easy for you so let me show you how th things easy how things become easy for you I I want to add the HTML bare bones I will just press the shift one or exclamation mark and press tab or enter and the bare bones have shown up it's easy I do not have to write all those things okay so I will just write anything here maybe the date March 2 I will write like this now I need to link the CSS files so link then my CSS files are inside a CSS folder and then the name of this is March 2.css simple as that and everything is happening inside my git repo so whatever I will do here that will be taken to the github account on my website and it's all live so things should work that way then the phone awesome it's inside my github repo and it's inside a CSS folder and inside that folder I have a folder called phones inside that another folder CSS then all dot min dot CSS simple as that so I have linked my CSS file my CSS file is blank right now and that's then this CSS all dot min dot CSS this is not blank this is already filled up and it's here this is the file it has a lot of things going on and this is compressed that's the reason I'm using min there is no space so it loads very fast that's the only reason so now we need to create the header you know how to 
header is given by the HTML itself. So we do not have to add any section or div. I am giving it a class of header to make things easy for us. Now inside the header, I need three things. One is the logo. I will take an H1 and give it an give it an ID of logo. That's it. And then just give it a name of I'm giving it the name of shop. And then I need a nav bar. Then give it a class of same thing. And inside this, I need some A tags, links, and also I am giving them some classes and L I N K S and links so that things are easy for us. href means where these are going to be when we are going to click on those links. So hash means nowhere, just don't go anywhere. Okay, and then the first link I'm going to maybe make it men duplicate it by pressing shift option or shift alt down arrow men women okay then maybe kids we can make these text these kids women and men capitalized with the help of code not by writing here so that's not a good thing and then <clears throat> we have this thing sale i will do that along with you and then we have one more thing that is those icons so i will give them a class of top icons inside this i need those i class it's from phone awesome then give it a class for fps phone awesome simple for dash search duplicate this and uh, this should be user maybe duplicate it one more time and this can be shopping dash bag and let me see if this is loading or not i will go back to my github repo here is all the things that I'm doing inside the GitHub. So this is the file that I hope I am working on. And now you can see those things are appearing. Now we need to style this header and we will do that inside the CSS. First thing first, we have to remove all the margin and padding that is given by the browser by default. They have something, okay? So I'm using the Firefox, whatever browser it is, they have some defaults, okay? So do this. And reset the padding to zero margin to zero again now this thing is done now we need to create the body it's already done we do not have to give any class or ID to the body because CSS understands this body but we need some width okay I should make things easy for you should have a width of 100% VW means view width height it can be automatic because we do not have to think too much on it and now we need to style the header header has a class of header that's why I gave it a class and it should have a width instead of let's make it 100% because we want that thing to go here and there and it needs a height how about 90 pixels makes sense then we need to add one more thing which is margin Maybe we can leave without it, but let me tell you what this thing do. Margin at the top, maybe 1% from top and bottom and auto on the left and right. This will place things in the center of the page. That is the purpose of this thing. And this is very important when you want to place the things in the center. Now what happened? The header is 100% width. So the things are going there. So now we need to throw these things across the width of this page how we do that with the help of flex display flex flex is magic you have to get used to it justify content space around maybe or space between will put them at the extreme edges space around will give them some space to breathe that kind of thing i think it's looking fine if i do it space between let me see what happens there is no spacing but we can give that spacing by giving padding left around two percent and same thing with padding right two percent let's see if it do something or not it has done something but not over there padding right so that's adding and it is throwing away i think this should be this not here I should give that padding to the 
individual element which is which is top icons I see your icons if I give them padding from right around 2% let me see what happens it hasn't done anything what is the name of those top cones it should be top icons now something is happening maybe I can increase it like maybe 4% but this thing is not a good thing because when we want to make things responsive we will have to count them so many times so I think space evenly or between could be used but that has not given us much space around now we can give them individual paddings and margins to throw them a bit away I think it's looking fine we still have to do a lot of things those icons top icons is the container and whatever is an eye inside them they need some margin let's give them padding yes padding to the right we want to throw them to the right side about 20 pixels let's see that if just do something or not it is should be left because we want to throw this away to that side how about 30 pixels okay and we need to style those links as well and they have a class of n l i n k s n links that's it and they need padding those elements need padding how about 40 pixels now the things will be thrown away here and there let's see how it works looking fine they have an underline which I don't like you don't like so we remove that with text decoration and we make it none the underline will be gone we don't like that bluish color so color can be black you can write black or I'm writing the code of a color and we want to make them capitalized that is text transform and it's uppercase that's fine if I save it now there, there will be some difference we don't like the font so font family I don't have access to the Google phone so I'll be using some sensitive phones and I'll be using this COs UI this is I think some Microsoft phone uh, looking fine but the phone is a bit large maybe I should make it a bit smaller how about font size 0 0.9 M's and uh, if this is looking complicated to you I could write 14 pixels 12 pixels like that same thing and <clears throat> I think it's okay now we need to give the same phone to the logo as well so I will put that thing over here phone family CEOs to the whole header should have this phone instead of giving this to the links itself now the header is taken care of the shop logo need some spacing those like those words I will show you what I'm saying let's space them out so that is letter spacing how about eight pixels now look for the shop and the things are a bit thrown away that looks fine I think the header is done we can give some border at the bottom too okay. but instead of that we are going to give some drop bo box some shadow so it is box shadow and x axis how much we want maybe 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 two pixels on the y axis how much maybe how about same amount then the blur about eight pixels then what is the color of the shadow then it's rgba rgb red green blue and a is alpha means opacity you understand what is that how dark or how light is zero zero that is rgb again zero then the color value i will give it one here and if i save it now there will be some shadow and uh, I think there is problem that is the header has a margin at the top we don't need that that's all. okay one more thing things are not in the center how we do that that is a lot in items in the center that is this is the property of the flex box and things are in the center now things are looking fine now we can change the color of the header we can change the color of the body of anything but something is happening now we want those lines those links color should be updated when we hover on them so those are n links 
upon hover h o v e r hover their color should not be black but some other color i'll be using salmon if i upload it read fresh it now things are looking bit okay we can do with this with the icons as well so these are the icons so these are top i see icons and when i okay let's put i as well when i hover their color should be how about red instead of using so bright red we could drag it here just come here and place your cursor and it will show you the option to change the color and when i hover on them the color is changing that looks fine maybe they could be green but i'll i think i'll be using some kind of reddish theme for this website now we need to create that if i come back to the website now which we already did we need this kind of box around the the sale element so what is this thing inside this nab one two three four the fourth element needs that border so we do not have to give it any class that will make things very bad so those are inside the nab the nth element whatever is fourth element that needs background kind of red i may change this red to some kind of subtle red not so bright red and it should have a padding of around four pixels not touching that thing border radius it should not be sharp it should be like maybe four pixels is fine and uh, the color of the text inside this thing now should be white if i reload it now let me see what happens it's looking very small we can give it some width maybe how about 100 pixels i never used 100 pixels in ever this has done nothing i think it's already something around that how about 120 pixels no why it's not working i have given some padding how about six pixels that should work yes that has done something and uh, height is fine but why is not any width about 200 pixels no it's not working on it i'm not sure why it's not working but i think this is looking kind of okay how about padding to left around 8 pixels that should work if width is not working i may increase it to like 16 pixels and then i will repeat it for the right side as well i will duplicate this line and instead of left i will write right here i mean if something is not working then other things should work it's okay now now that color is very dull we need to pay, make it bright <clears throat> that's looking fine and when i hover on this this color should change to some kind of greenish maybe let's try if that works or not a nth child four and when i hover on this hover on this its color what should change the background should be changed to some kind of yeah teal teal looks fine the teal color that's very light color i may make it make it a bit dark if i reload it now it's looking fine and uh, I think those icons could be of the same color, but it's fine. Let's leave with it. And I may use this color for those links as well. I think this is looking fine instead of the salmon color. That's not looking so good. Now, when I hover on them, they are turning salmon. That's okay. Now we need to create the main section. Header is done. So we are out of the header. We will create the main section. Main is given by the HTML, so we do not have to create any default section. I am going to give it a class of main itself so inside the main now i need to create a few things first thing is that divider that kind of text which is like written here shop now no no no. first i am going to create this banner so i need to create a section it could be a div also and call this maybe um how about how about uh, top area yeah makes sense now we need to have a div for the what i'm doing let's call this banner okay inside this banner i need to have 
an S2 tag that says this 30% off and all things and like that. <clears throat> so it's an S2 tag. I could give it a class, but it's inside the banner so I can utilize that thing. And now I need a banner button, sorry. And it should be like shop. And that says shop now. Shop now. That is done. Now I need to style this this banner, this banner div. It's a section. It has a class of banner. B banner. But first thing first, I need to style the main. Main should have a width. How about 96 BW? It will be larger than the header. Its height should be automatic because this will have a lot of things and so we do not have to worry and margin also we will give to put the things in the center so how about two percent at the top and bottom and auto in the left and right that's fine now we need to style the banner banner should have a width of around how about 96 pw or maybe VW view means view width percent the same thing okay its height should be not too much maybe 200 pixels it should have a padding yes how about six pixels or six percent and text should be aligned in the center and if I reload it now let's see if something happens or not something kind of happened but not so good now we need to give this some background if you want to give that kind of gradient so you have to use this background image and linear gradient at what angle maybe 45 degrees TED degrees what is the starting color we will give this kind of how about salmon color let's use TEAL teal to some kind of blue let's try I mean you can change this color anytime if you don't like this color I don't like this color so I will change the blue to some maybe pinkish color where is this pink color is it here no maybe this let's try this if this works or not it kind of didn't work so teal color may need to be changed how about some kind of yellowish color uh, it's okay now I think this has a width but it is not centered maybe this needs this is the banner this has a padding padding is inside and it's it has a height it has a width and uh, height auto how about giving it a margin of around two percent at top and bottom and auto let's try if that works or not that kind of didn't work and why it is doing so why it is not aligned in the center if i give it a width of 100 percent then what happens kind of nothing how about giving this a width of 100%? Now it's working. I will take care of other things to give them. Now the text inside this banner should be white. So the color of the things inside it should be kind of white. F -A -F -A -F -A. That is also <clears throat> kind of light white. And the text is not in the center. <clears throat> I'm sorry. <clears throat> it's not really in the center. So we need to look back <coughs> banner and uh, this is this there is a problem there is surely a problem I will make this banner smaller how about 90% I do not want this to be too large and why it is going to the extreme edges then main how about making this 96 percent i mean we have to try things as if one is not working then i may need to give it some margin on the right side uh, this banner this banner needs some margin on the right side how about how about one percent or maybe negative oh, that's that's confusing that is very confusing I I will need to how about no no the main width is this and this is not in the center how about 
making this display flex don't worry that's only styling the other thing I do not want that I will make it 100% I do not want to waste time on styling these things text is in the center I think I assume it is in the center and now I will do one thing that text needs to be larger so the font size inside this banner should be like 2m font text size should be like size 2m's bit larger that's okay we need to change the phone family as well SEO this is the phone I'm going to use that's fine and I want to make this phone lighter so phone weight here is the phone weight I will make it lighter there will be a difference there is no difference fine it maybe this phone doesn't have why it doesn't have font weight normal initial inherit unset lighter maybe I will need to give this to the if inside banner whatever is an s2 should have font weight of lighter see if that works or not yeah it worked and maybe I can make it capitalized so text transform uppercase yes what else I need I need to space out space out the things so that is letter spacing maybe two pixels not too much that's fine now I need to style the button and the button has a class of shop and not like that it needs a width how about 200 pixels and it needs height how about 42 pixels it needs padding as well how about 6 pixels and it needs border radius it should not be very sharp how about 4 pixels it doesn't need a border so border should be none needs a background I will use that FAFFA color again yes, this looks fine now the color of the text inside this should be black maybe the text is this should be six but the phone is very small so I will need to increase the phone size font why it is doing so is the is here some problem I will put just three or six that is the thing and then phone size how about 1.2 M's you could put 16 pixels that's huge 0.9 M's oh yeah why it is so so huge have I already given it the phone I already have used the phone size on everything so this thing should work it's now working according to that so I need to remove it I will remove this this as well and put this inside the thing that is particularly needing it and it has gone very small maybe 4 m's that's very large how about 3 m's mm. is it fine I hope so and I will also use the text align in the center if it is not in the center it will be I think it is in the center I cannot actually measure it yes it is in the center I just measured it with my fingers and it is and now what I need that's fine I need to increase the font size of the button so here I can do it now maybe maybe 1.2 m's that is fine now this button needs some margin at the top it's touching the text so margin at the top around 
let's see if that works or not it kind of worked should i increase it it's fine so i need to create that divider now this kind of divider that is shop now so i will go to my html file again and within the main itself i will create an s2 tag and give it a class of div idea divider and i will call it like shop now that makes sense now i need to style this shop now i will keep on styling things so things are not confusing it is d i v i d divider what does it need the text should be in the center so text align in the center makes sense it needs some margin at the top and bottom that is just a margin how about four percent let's see if that makes sense or not kind of now we need to create that gallery which will hold all the images let's create a section ctin section and give it a class of gallery it's still not making sense section dot g a w or a gallery inside this i need to create those boxes a div with the classes of box and inside this i need an image first and inside the img folder i have those one no two dot jpg i will use this image and always write something inside the alt so i will use just the image name and underneath that i need some s3 tag and that says item name that's name it's name then i need a button the uw button and give it a class of buy and put some amount here maybe 9.99 buy now and uh, this is kind of done now i will do one thing i will okay it's fine i will need to repeat these box boxes again and again so i will first style this gallery so gallery this should be a dot not a comma that can be a mistake that you may do i do i did okay so first thing first it needs some width how about 96 percent or 90 yeah 90 makes sense 90 percent or vw makes sense height can be automatic that makes sense and margin yes how about six percent at the top and auto means left and right sh should be automatic and i will need to display it as grid as well but i will do that later on first i i will style the box box does need few things it is containing three elements and there should be like on top of the image at the top and the text then the button so it can be display flex and the flex direction should be column yes and uh, i need to give it some background also to the whole thing i will give it a background of white and it needs some shadow so about two pixels on x-axis three pixels on y-axis or maybe six pixels then a blur of eight pixels then the color of the thing and that can be like this what else i need i need to give it some border also border of around about one pixel solid not the black but i will change this from the solid black to kind of this color and it does need some padding also padding of like two percent yes and justify content How about space around maybe we can experiment with the things if they are not looking fine if i come back now and reload the box it is looking pretty huge why because we have not given it a width so i am going to give it a width of 260 pixels hope that works or maybe 200 pixels that should make sense the image is very small and align items align items in the center that is making sense now space around i will use space between space that's bad there should be no space i assume 
uh, they are not having space I will need to give it a height height to the whole box around how about 300 pixels that is pretty large how about 220 pixels um, that is making sense but the, I think I assume the width is pretty large maybe I can no it's okay it's okay I will need to make it rounded so border radius around 4 pixels and also I will give I have given it the shadow but that's not looking very visible what is the problem let's reduce the width don't I hate this references okay again and again showing I know the things and I don't like the references okay now I need to style the button yes that's the problem the name of the button is by maybe I can copy the style from the button that I already have created if I copy the style and then I can tweak it as per my liking and uh, this button needs to have a background none we don't want any background on this button that should be no any none it needs a border yes border can be one pixel solid solid and I'm going to use black and instead of none I'm going to use solid white background border radius four pixels padding that's huge I will use a very small padding around four pixels or maybe and that's a very big button how about 120 or maybe 140 pixels width the phone size is very large I will use a smaller phone how about 0 0.8 M's that's making sense but the height is very I hate this 38 pixels for the height maybe um, that's making some sense and is it okay is it okay I assume it's okay I will need to give some margin at the top to the button how about six percent let's see if that works or not uh, it's working I, I will increase it to eight percent maybe yeah it's making sense kind of but it's not looking like this oh that has a very small width I assume I will further reduce the width of the box to maybe 160 or maybe 140 uh, that's that's making sense I assume the uh, border is very bright I don't watch such a bright such a dog that's making sense now I need to repeat those boxes here are these boxes I will space out so things are not so complicating complicated and here is this box I need to repeat this few times two three four five six I have repeated it six times but it will display like this so we have to use the CSS grid now on the container of these boxes and that is the gallery where is that thing gallery yes display grade and we want to display four images in one call in one row so we can do it like the 300 pixel oh no, 120 or whatever pixels whenever uh, like one f or 1FR, 1FR, 1FR. If I reload it now, let's see what happens. It is not like that. I did something wrong, and that is very wrong. And it is great template columns. If I do it now, how many times I've done it? Maybe four times. I'm not sure. Yes. But that's very bad. We don't like this thing. We have to use a smarter function that is repeat. And we should repeat it like four times that should be one fraction each the boxes are looking very small um, maybe I can repeat it five times or I can increase the width of this thing box 
I honestly don't like this. Ha, it's it's okay, and also I will change the images. This is looking very bad. Just same image getting repeated again and again. Six. Nine. Eight. Let me reload it now. The different images will be here. So that's looking okay. I I will put five images here instead of four. I think the images are very small. So if I try this now, oh, it's looking okay. And I will repeat this one more time. And how many times? Four times. One, two, three, four. If I reload it now, we need to give the gaps. And that is, it has got the column gaps because the images are very small. So we are going to give just the row gap. Why? Because I have not put this thing over here. So row gap about 8% of the whole width of this thing. That is kind of okay. This box, this buy button needs margin at the bottom also because this is, because this is touching the things at the bottom. How about 2%? Um, that makes sense. That's making some sense. And I think I need to change the box shadow as well. This is looking very light. It's okay. I I will need to increase it on the y-axis. How about 12 pixels? That's uh, that's that's okay. If I want to take this to the upper side, then I have to. If I do it now like this negative then it's displaying like this but maybe I don't like that and on x-axis I may increase this to 4 pixels if I uh, that's looking fine maybe I will increase that gap so that is the row gap and it is 8 right now I will increase that to 12% it has got some spacing and now just the grid template columns I can use grid template rows as well use the repeat function again and I want to repeat this like three times and one FR that is the thing I'm going to use I could use the min max as well and uh, I could use that thing out of fit also for the responsiveness but I am not going to do that right now because the website because the this thing video will become very long and I need to give some margin from the left as well because things are like not in the center how about two percent to the whole gallery not like that um still not okay maybe eight percent uh, no if i use display flex justify content space around or space between then what will it do i need to use flex wrap and wrap let's see if this do something or not yes the that problem is sorted i can repeat these images as many times as i want but i think these two rows are enough and i now need to create that button that is divide, divided button that says like shop more or load more here is that button so that button can be like simple still inside the main but outside this section i will create that button and i will create it like button and call it a class of load yes and yes see more that makes sense so i will need to style this load button load I can take styling from here why not and I can tweak as I want because they are all they are both buttons it has got some styles style and this can be larger maybe 180 pixels can be a bit higher maybe 40 pixels padding is okay font size is not okay I need a larger font maybe 1m oh that's bad why it is repeating so many times let me reload it now 
hope things are making sense and now this thing margin from the left and right what is that i think i don't need them here right now with this and uh, border radius is okay is the text in the center i assume it is in the center this button should be in the center why it is not in the center if i put this text align in the center if it is not working then i can do one thing i can put this button inside a div oh should do that if i make it display flex should i do that yes i will try it if it didn't work then i will put it inside a div and then style it justify content sent that that is a stupid, stupid thing I will do this now divi di divided to this is a div I'm creating this that thing did work didn't work so I'm putting this button inside the div and now I need to style this divided to yeah, divider two. This can be display flex now. Justify content in space between our center. Let's see if this works or not. This has worked. I mean, why use too much efforts if something is as easy as it can be? Margin at the top. How about four percent, or it can be more also? That has not worked. How about? 12% that will be very large I think it's okay now we need to create the footer the website is too easy there's nothing tough okay so create the footer footer is given by the HTML itself we do not have to create it inside this we need to create this one more thing that is let's call this dev f1 sorry f1 inside this I need three things first is the so those icons so let's call them create a div social and inside them I need those I class from phone awesome so they are like class fab means phone awesome brands for dash Instagram yes. duplicate this maybe Twitter duplicate and maybe Facebook duplicate this maybe Yelp and maybe whatsapp this is done now we need to create the copyright text so we will create a p and give it a class of copy that's fine and write like this ampersand copy copy it will suggest you the copy now this will write that c inside the circle and it can be mini bab 2020 anything now we need to create that thing which takes the website to the top so go to the place where your body begins and create this element a then name equals then this commas kind of thing top then close this now come to the bottom create an a tag press a and it will create itself press hash top inside this whatever you want you want to create a button fine you want to create just the text top that too will work and if I reload it now things are looking like not so good so what do we have to do we have to style it first thing first we have to style the food what does it need it needs some width how much 100% height height can be let's skip automatic and it needs some margin at the top so that it's not touching that button this thing it's uh, it is not done yet why f o t r f am I, am I accessing the right thing have I given it a class of footer f w t r it's fine maybe I will increase to 20 no 20 pixels not I am supposed to make it percent and inside of this okay things should work now yes they are working the text should be in the center so these elements are inside this class f1 
I could put it inside the this thing also, but I did just the F1. What does it need? Display flex. You will need to use flex so many times that you will get used to this. So justify content. How about space around or space between? Space evenly to road. So let's try that if that works or not. I will use space around. A R O U around. And I think these these elements are not aligned in the center. Maybe they are, but I can use align items in the center. Now they will be aligned horizontally. That's fine. Now those icons or those Facebook and Twitter icons are not like spaced out. We need to access and they have a class of social. I assume no. Yes, they have a class of social. So inside the social class, S O C I L social, whatever is an I element that needs padding to the right around 20 pixels and that's working fine now the whole footer or maybe this f1 needs some margin in the bottom margin or padding yes padding in the bottom because we want some space inside how about six percent because we want some breathing space they are just touching the things in the bottom that's a bit large how about four percent that's fine why this is going beyond the width of the website what is wrong with this thing I will need to check that also okay now we need to change the phone family as well inside the footer phone family I will use this font CO's UI and that's okay the top is okay I can make it a button this is highlighted we want it highlighted when I click on this the things go to the top now something is not done well that's the reason the things are like going like this this should not happen I will need to take care of a few things and that thing has to do with the gallery I am I am sure it can if I remove this display flex let's come back now I assume this is still happening why because this this banner this banner where is this banner where is this banner 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 has a width of 190 VW then why it has gone beyond that point <coughs> when it has a width of 90 VW and what is the width of this thing I will make it 96 BW I know things will be thrown here and there but we have to take care of this thing this thing is still going beyond this point that is a problem something if I come back here now what is this why is not giving me the suggestion to oh my god what is this where is that thing uh, inspect element does it happen with the queue command queue will exit the thing I assume yes I don't want that what is this can I access here oh why it is so I don't have the internet so oh my god should I open this with the fire with this chrome oh I have the safari open with safari and I will make it full width that's okay yes it is if I the hell is wrong with them I will come back to the Firefox and look for this option over here oh my god oh my god what is this what's wrong why does just suggesting me this only where are all the options gone maybe I can take care of this thing later on but I definitely don't like this thing this thing is going to that side something has to be done with the gallery yes gallery has got the problem it has got a width and uh, row gap that's huge maybe I will make it 8% and I will make it 4 I mean I have to use the tweaks what works is this still going something is not right I will disable the footer 
I think it happened after this. If I disable the footer now and reload, is it still happening? Yes, footer is fine, footer has no problem. Okay, now where is the problem? This divider, I will disable this and check now. It is still there, so divider has no problem, divider is fine. Now I will disable this section, this boxes, because we have to check where the problem is coming from. These boxes are inside this section. I just disabled all those boxes. Now that thing is gone. So the problem is with those boxes. I will re-enable them. Okay. And what was the problem? I no no, I did wrong. I will just disable the banner and reload it now. Yes, the problem is with the banner. So we have to take care of the banner. I will re-enable the banner and it has got the classes. It's a section with the banner. Now I need to style the banner again. Banner needs to be styled again. Color is fine. Background image, we are giving it a gradient. That's fine. Text align center, that is fine. Margin 0% on auto. If I do this, then see what happens. Still giving problem? Yes. I will re enable this, no problem. Padding 6%, that is inside padding, no problem. Uh, that was the problem. You got the thing? We don't need such a huge padding because it is given on all the sides. Now I can give it some width is fine, height is fine. The text is way huge. I will make it smaller. That's fine. I will give it now padding, not like this, but padding at the top and bottom. Padding at the top around 4% and duplicate this padding in the bottom. Guys, I know this video was long, but there was a problem. So we had to sort it out and yes, we did. Now this gallery is not looking fine. I will take care of this also, but there was a problem that has been sorted out. The banner is okay now. It's 90% now. Why this gallery is not in the center now? I need to take care of this gallery. <clears throat> if I do this flex again, let's see. And I assume this is fine. Instead of five images, I will use four images here. I'm using four images. Wrap, I, what is the thing that we do? I will disable this. I'm using the grid, so I will take care of a grid only. I need some margin in the left side. Margin from left side around 4%. Still okay, maybe. How about five images here? That should make sense. Yeah, I should try that. That's fine. Uh, now I can keep the margin from the left. If I do it now, that's fine. How about 6%? And I assume that's fine. That's making sense. So I can repeat this gallery. One more time how many images I need to repeat four images so four and here I have more images one image was less but that is adjusted instead of going here it has settled here that's a good thing and the website is done now we need a kind of border at the footer footer needs a border at the top that definitely need definitely needs okay so border at the top one pixel, one pixel solid black, and it needs some padding, padding as well, padding at the top around two percent, so the border is not touching the things. I assume that's fine. Maybe I will increase this to four percent or six percent. Let's do this four percent. 
and it's looking fine maybe this button this divider to need some margin top around 16 pixels yes that's making sense now a simple clean website is ready I can tweak it to make it further beautiful I can take it off all these bad things happening but something is ready okay something you can present or do and upon the hover the color can change they can rotate that's easy the buttons can change text can change a lot of lot of things can happen okay but something is ready that you can do and when you click on this button it is taken to the top and hope this was helpful there were some problems and i went ahead and i rechecked them and solved them along with you so these problems will keep on coming you have to solve them with very simple tricks so that was the main aim of making this tutorial if you are finding this helpful do let me know and in the comments i'll be i'll be happy to help you thank you you have a great day